Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not, thanks for coming back today. I'm really excited to be filming two looks using the Heather Austin and Adept Cosmetics palette. I'm so excited to use this palette. Of course, you may or may not have seen a lot of stuff all over Instagram. A lot of people have already made videos. I'm a little late to the party, but that's okay. We're still gonna party. I am going to create two looks using this absolutely gorgeous palette. I've never used Adept Cosmetics before. Have you? If you have, can you leave me a comment down below letting me know your experience? But just judging by the swatches from this and looking at it in person, it looks absolutely beautiful. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 pan palette created by the YouTuber Heather Austin, who of course I will link her channel down below. She is an awesome, awesome YouTuber, someone I really look up to in the beauty YouTube space. And this palette has four matte shadows and eight shimmers, absolutely beautiful shimmers. These shimmers are like wet feeling to the touch. So, so beautiful. This palette is cruelty free and vegan. And Adept Cosmetics is a American owned brand out of Wyoming. Guys, I'm really excited. I'm just gonna get right to it and create a look. I'm so excited. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up while you're watching. That helps me out a lot. And if you like makeup content, I would definitely suggest subscribing, especially eyeshadow content. I love me some eyeshadows. And if you do too, you should stick around. By the way, the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful too. Like this faux leather, very sleek. It's actually a lot sleeker in person than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm really wanting to use this little corner over here today. It's like calling to me. I've been very much into green eyeshadow lately. So we're gonna create a look, kind of a simple look with these three shadows, maybe something else on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna grab this fluffy brush from the Sephora collection that is no longer sold, sorry. And I'm gonna take the shade Mythology, which is this like yellowy, greeny, chartreuse -y color. And I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. I've already primed my eyes, by the way, with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna put this all in my crease. That looks beautiful. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. That took me like four strokes to blend and it's pigmented, so love that. Okay, next I'm gonna take kind of a smaller pointed blending brush. This is a Scott Barnes 62 brush. And I am gonna take the shade Magnolia, which is this deep like foresty green color. And I'm just gonna pop that a little bit lower in my crease and on my outer corner. So I'm just gonna place it first, wow. Place it in my outer corner first. And then I'm gonna bring it into the crease. Really, really pretty, those two colors together. I'm actually gonna take a little bit even more of a dense brush. This is a Blend Bunny B4 brush. And I'm gonna take that Magnolia, the green shade again. And I'm gonna just kind of pack that on the outer corner of my eye. Yeah, that make it even deeper. I can like build on top of what I've already done. Love that. These mattes are really nice because they're so pigmented, but they're easy to blend. I love that. Like that is my ultimate favorite type of matte. Where well, you don't have to sit here and build and build and build and build and build and you know, take forever. But it's also not so pigmented that you can't blend it out. So that's gorgeous. I'm gonna go back in with that first fluffy brush with no additional product. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges of the green into the yellow, just to soften it a little bit. Now, usually with most shimmer shades or pretty much all shimmer shades, I put down the NYX glitter glue underneath, but I don't think I need to do that with these because these are so creamy. I feel like they're gonna adhere to my lid just fine. And I 
I actually feel like if I use the NYX glitter glue, it's gonna get a little bit too creasy just cause I have more oily lids. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the shade Smith. It is like this beautiful, like gold, green, kind of reddish. I don't know, it's a really pretty shifty shade on, on here. It's gonna be hard for you to see, but gorgeous. So I'm gonna take the shade Smith just on my finger. It's like so silky smooth. I'm gonna pop that on my lid. Wow. Wow. Speechless. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've never used a shimmer like that before. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back in with, with Magnolia, that deep green matte, and I'm just gonna reinforce the outer corner a little bit. Okay, so I am going to throw on some liner and lashes and do the rest of my makeup, and I will be back so we can finish the lower lash line. Five hours later. Okay, I just did the rest of my face. Let me just quickly tell you what I did. I popped on the Milani Flora False Lashes. I put on the, the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Macchiato, and I set it with the NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. I set my T-Zone with the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder, my favorite. And for blush, I have the e.l.f. Always Rosy Blush. And I just popped some tinted brow gel through my brows. On my lips, I am wearing my favorite, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF, and my favorite, the Milani Color Fetish Lipstick in the shade Tease. So I am obsessed with this eye look. It looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. So we're gonna finish up the lower lash line. Hmm. I'm gonna be kind of basic. I'm going to pretty much mimic what I did on the top, on the bottom, on the top. Did that make sense? I'm gonna take a flat definer brush from Alamar Cosmetics and I'm gonna take Magnolia and I'm gonna basically stamp that super close to my lower lash line and like kind of connecting it to my wing. I'm gonna take a Morphe M507 like small blender brush. I'm gonna take Mythology and I am gonna just run that right underneath. And I'm going to pop Rob Beauty Christie ColourPop pencil in the shade Marigold in my waterline, just to play up that yellowy color. My inner corner, I'm really wanting to use the shade Austin, this like super bright. It's got a thousand colors in it. I, I honestly can't even describe. Like it looks from here, it looks like a blue teal color, but you look at it straight on, it looks like a silvery pink, I don't know. I'm gonna take a little tiny flat brush. This one is from Luxie. This is the 245. And I'm gonna dip in. It's like literally like putty. I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner. Wow, pretty. That was the shade Austin, by the way. Did I say that? I hope so. So this is the first look. What do you think? I. Love it. The mattes were easy to blend. The shimmers are incredible. The two shimmers that I used anyway. I love this Smith shade, the one that's all over my lid. Oh my goodness, it's so, so beautiful. It's sparkly without being like texture enhancing. I, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna be staring at myself in the mirror all day. Okay, so that's look number one, and now we're gonna go to look number two. Okay, so we are on to look number two now with the Heather Austin and Adept Cosmetics palette. I really wanna use the shade Passport. This looks so, so beautiful. And I am thinking of doing a halo eye. So I wanna use these two matte shades that I haven't used yet and pop Passport as like the center of the lid shade. So I've got a uh, fluffy blending brush number 16 from NYX and I am going to use the shade Atlas, which is this super pretty brown matte shade. I'm gonna pop this on the crease. 
I've already primed my eyes, by the way, and everything else that's on my face, I will list in the description box down below. I never, ever, ever do my face makeup first. <laughs> so that was a bit weird for me, but I gotta go after this. I'm popping this all the way through my crease into my inner corner. Beautifully pigmented, easy to blend. I'm also gonna put that just on the inner part of my lid and the outer part of my lid. Okay, and the next I am going to take more of a denser brush. This is a Wet n Wild, doesn't have a name on it, brush. And I'm gonna take PAO2, this deeper like eggplant purple shade. And I'm gonna put this on the outer and inner corner of my lid. Just kind of stamp it at first. Very pretty. I'm gonna get something even a little smaller. All of my brushes are so dirty right now. I have this smaller kind of flat blending brush from the Elf and J Kissa collab. And I'm just gonna try to get that a little bit more packed down just because I have some fine lines in here. So I gotta really like push it in, in between my creases. Gosh, that is so pretty. That was very easy. So I'm gonna go back to that fluffy NYX brush and I'm just gonna try to blend the edges between the purple and the brown. Okay, now that I've laid the matte shades down, I'm gonna take the glitter primer from NYX and I'm gonna pop that right in the center of my eyelid where I left it blank. These shimmers are so creamy that I don't probably always have to use a glitter primer, but this one is exceptionally like sparkly and PC. So just to try to eliminate fallout, I'm gonna put down the glitter glue and then I'm gonna pick up the shade Passport. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna pop that right in the center of my lid. And slightly layer it over those matte shades. Wow. Wow, that's intense. I'm just gonna go back with the PAO2 shade, that deeper purple, and I'm just gonna re-intensify a little bit on the outer and inner corners. And now I'm going to do basically the same thing on the lower lash line. So I am gonna take, I'm gonna take a small flat definer brush and I'm gonna go into PAO2 and I'm just going to do the outer and inner corner Then I'm going to take the Detailed Diffuser brush from Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm gonna go into Atlas, and I'm just going to buff right underneath where I put that PAO2 shade on the bottom. I'm basically trying to connect on the outer corner, connect the upper and lower shades. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the inner lower lash line. And just because I wanna put this same passport shade on my lower lash line in the middle and it's such a tiny area, I am actually gonna do this with the brush and not my finger. So I'm gonna take the brush and I'm going to put the NYX glitter primer on the brush and I'm gonna put it right in the center here. I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm gonna pick up passport. I'm gonna place that right over where I put the glitter primer on the lower lash line. I got a little bit on my under eye bag, but now it's a sparkly under eye bag. This is so pretty. Look, I am going to go and put liner and lashes on in a lip and I'll be right back and we can uh, see the final look. Okay, I am back. I finished up my eyes. I used the Hard Candy Black Liquid Eyeliner, just a thin line on my upper lash line. I applied the Ardell Demi Wispies. Just wanted something a little bit fluttery and light so that you could see the actual halo eye. I actually popped a little rhinestone under each eye just to like enhance the halo effect. I got those from ColourPop. And I popped on the ColourPop Aquarius Lippy Pencil and the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Perfectionist. What do you think? I love, love this look. I think it's so pretty and so fun. And yeah, 
My thoughts on this palette are I love it. <laughs> the four mattes are really beautiful, really pigmented, really easy to blend, and the shimmers are just out of this world insane. I have never seen shimmers like these in any other palette that I've owned. They're just gorgeous and multi-dimensional and like creamy to the touch. I just, I can't get over the texture. Unbelievable, unbelievable palette. If you were thinking about it, I really don't think you would be disappointed picking this up. I'm so glad that I did pick it up and I'm so glad to have it in my collection. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna to continue to create more looks with this palette. Maybe I'll put some on Instagram. This is probably going to be one of my most favorite palettes from the year. I can already tell. It's so unique and beautiful. All right, and that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.